Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. It is family recipe week here on the show. I made my grandmother's fruit cocktail cake yesterday. Yeah. Kelly just made her cookie, pie, cookie, cookie pies. pies right here. I know, pie and cookies, I'm so cookie full. Pies. You're so full from the cookie pies, and you brought us in some ice cream to I eat know. with the cookie pies. Thank you, Lauren <laughs> Barnes. Making a guest appearance. Guest appearance by Lauren Barnes. Okay. That's our finished product. Okay, okay. there you go. That's that hot. One? Be careful, Joe. Oh boy, that's okay, fun. so Joe, family that's recipe week. Yes. What is your family recipe? I love some chicken noodle soup. It's good for you, right? Yes, Healthy, it is. everything. Uh, my mother does this, and I learned how to make it actually just this year. So it's pretty interesting how she goes about it, and I learned. I, there's not enough time for me to give right. the course that she taught and how to properly Never do this. Never enough time for that. But it, <laughs> but it is good, and she does this with chicken. But you know, it's after Thanksgiving. A lot of times she'll do this with turkey as well. It's all about using the carcass and using the bones to get all that flavor in there. And really, you're just, I'm just going to throw what we have in the pot. You're really just starting with some water, okay? okay. This is simple cooking, guys. Just put some water in a pot. This is cooking 101. Right? And cooking you're not even measuring it, right? Just not measuring it. A lot okay. of Italian cooking, this no measuring going on with uh, that. Yeah, no. You know? I Elisa, know that. we'll My agree mom with does that. Not measure this up was, anything. this was mm -hmm. tough as I became an adult and tried to cook on my own. I'm like, <laughs> but how much sugar do I use? How much is. You just eyeball it. You just eyeball it. But, you know, you have parents and grandparents who have cooked perfection for years. Yeah. So I'm trying to get there. Anyway, we have a rotisserie <laughs> chicken right here. Pretty simple. And what we're going to do is take the meat on the bones right here. A little wet right there. Oh, but wow. you're dropping these in. And as I pointed out, the carcass will have a lot of that flavor in there as well. We're going to omit that today just because, you I love you, know, you call it a carcass sake. and not just like the bones. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It has to be carcass. Well, no, I mean, I mean like the... The, the middle part of that whole thing. Yes, right. throw Everything. it on in there. Okay. But make sure the meat is on there. You have water and chicken on your bone. You also need celery leaves. leaves. Celery leaves. Because those are the strongest part of the celery. Strongest part of the celery gives it a little flavor. Right. This is to make your base. So you're going to heat this up. Even if your chicken's cooked, you want to heat it for about an hour or so. Okay. Oh, okay. To okay. get that going. So I'm sorry. I need you, need oh. you guys to go to work. Oh, okay. I got guys you. We're chop chopping. Some, chop some celery for me. Chop, chop. Yes. Yeah. How big do you need these? Oh, these yeah. uh, you know, I, I cut them up into just little pieces, you know? Okay. Just because we're also going to do this with some carrots. Okay. And okay. then, Kelly, you can have some ice cream. I'm going to have some ice cream since yeah. I'm right here in the middle and I got no chopping block. So I'm going to chop up some fish. Is, is my knife not sharp or <laughs> This is not, I've joked, it's coming out crooked. You Mine is some. too. <laughs> I know. These are crooked carrots, by the way. Just so you can know, you're going to have crooked carrots. Oh, boy. This job. is okay, guys. I believe in you. We'll do okay. all right. They're doing now, a great job. something else that you want to throw in here is, a, is an onion. I, mm. I am not a big onion guy. I oh use God. so little of it that I'm omitting <laughs> it from this right now. You don't like onion? Not really. I mean, I know it flavors the soup and it flavors a lot of things, and that's good for you. But again, I'm not even leaving it in here. Oh, my goodness. There's okay. some onion in the finished product right. here. So, okay. yeah. How's this with the ice cream? Oh, this is that is good? fantastic with the ice cream. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that in. Hey, y'all get busy over there, okay? <laughs> We're chopping veggies and you're eating ice cream oh, and cookie boy. pies. You positioned us. I'm right here in the middle. While they're still, while they're still chopping, while they're still chopping, you want to know, of course, add some more water. You got to make sure the water covers the meat and the bones. Oh God, and it's always going to keep know. cooking Look down. So, you want right, to do that. It's keep cooking so, down. after an hour and you're good and you're adding some water and you have the, the clowns over here done cutting. <laughs> Because it's cutting in an angle. Look at that. Yeah, I'm there's something trying to make a very either straight cut. Either is crooked or these knives are weird. I don't know how long you'd last in Kathy Morano's kitchen, Jerry. Oh, she would have kicked me out. Hey, Jerry, you want a spoon? Sharpen this <laughs> knife. Thanks so much. Have a cookie yeah. so good I'm done are cutting. What do you want me to do with mm -hmm. these uh, crooked carrots? Uh, the mm -hmm. celery is shredded over here. <laughs> That's good. Let's what would you throw like this in the pot now. Okay, I'm throwing this in the pot, Miss Elisa. Okay. Okay. So throw the carrots in with the carcass, right? In with everything, okay. okay? Now you're going to cook this and your onion that we're not doing right now, but we have that. I need that cutting board okay. too, please. Oh, you need the cutting oh, board. Okay. There you go. That's all right. There you oh, go. You don't need the celery? Enjoy. So, no, it'll I'm be good. put that in there. So, too. everything's still in there. We're cooking this for about 20 to 30 minutes or so. Okay. okay. So, you let this go some more. You keep adding water because it's going to cook down. Okay. And then eventually, after that 20 or 30 minutes, you want to take out the meat okay. and the carcass and the bones and everything yes. else. Okay. This is where you. Want to cut apart the chicken? I don't know if I have a knife here. Yeah, use that one. That was go. with carrots. This was this was already cooked. So what you want to do is remove the skin, and then you'll just want to take off some of this, and then you're going to shred this chicken. 
Like so, oh, you know. Hell I mean? yeah! It's way more professional. So. I use my Look at hands. Him. He looks like he's done this before. You use your hands. Yeah. I do use so. my hands. You just want to be able to do that. There's too much skin right here, so we got to get that out. So no skin in the soup. No skin. Okay. Preferably not. You take the bones out. You know, the bone marrow is all has all the That's nutrients. Right. Yeah. That's why sure you're sure in there. Yeah. That's why chicken soup is good for you guys. That's true. And good for the soul. That's right. And so. Oh. <laughs> that is so true. So we're gonna throw this on back in here, okay? Okay. And you let that cook for a little bit more as it's going on. Now afterward. If you notice, we didn't touch any chicken stock yet. Because this I was base, about to ask, I wondered about this that. Broth? This base is so flavorful, and when you cook it, the whole house starts to smell like oh, it. It's yeah. so nice. It's really good. So what you'll want to do is you add this chicken broth before you serve it. What I'll do typically is let this cool, take it off the heat, let it cool. The fat will rise to the top, okay. and I'll skim the fat off. And then as you're getting ready to serve this to people, because it's a big pot, you'll want to dump a can of chicken broth in there then. At the end. At the end is oh. when I do that. So then you want wow. to do that. Now also, important to note, anything else that you want to do is your egg noodles. You can have orzo. I'm using some basic egg noodles right now. You want to cook these separately because the starches from here will affect the flavoring in there. That's why you don't cook it oh, in with the pot. Okay. okay? Wow, you're so you so make this separately. Knowledge. This is all credit to Kathy Morano, I tell you. <laughs> okay. So you want to cook that separately. Then you throw some of those guys in there as you're getting ready to serve it. You guys Perfect. won't eat this, right? Perfect. Joe, yeah. how, how, overall, how long does this take to make? I mean, this took me probably. Three hours or so. Three last hours. Time you okay. It. It's a good football day thing oh, when I football's bet. on. You I tend bet. to it in the kitchen. Everything here. Let's Here's all dig into this. Come on right now. I've got you ice cream on my on soup. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited to try this. I need to get a <laughs> celery right and a carrot hey, and do a you chicken. Wanna... You get in there. Oh, you're good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll just eat on this side at least. So you go ahead. I just I, and also salt and pepper to taste or Parmesan cheese, which I did not put in there. So I hope. it's Joe, that is really good. You know what? I hope you guys like it. That just makes you feel so warm and fuzzy, and like if you've got any kind of a bug coming on, it would just take care of it right there. Good wintertime recipe. It's a popular request whenever us kids are home and things. We're making this. This is delicious. You are fabulous. Make us a big batch of this, will you? I can do that for you. I like messing around in the kitchen. I need an apron for when I do this. Yes. Can you freeze this, by the way? Can you make a big pot and then freeze it? Yes. That's what I typically do. Is you'll make a bunch and anything you have left over freezes really well. You can thaw it out on the okay. stove or in the microwave. And, that uh, is fantastic. Enjoy. I like eating something healthy after all this, this <laughs> mm. stuff. But that was Joe. Delicious. Joe, good job. Thanks, yeah. guys. Great family yeah. recipe. This is such validation. I greatly thank appreciate you. this. We and appreciate tell your mother you. we said thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you certainly happy. will. The only thing we need is a little bit better knife. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's, true. That's, That's my fault. That's my fault. No worries. Coming up, Jeremy has a Build a Better project, and our friend Joy Blue Steel from the Gilroy's Theater mm. will be joining us. Can't wait to see her. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh, it does. Yeah. It feels like you want to eat this on a cold winter's day. Yes. That's exactly yes. it. Yes. That's exactly